number 22, the rocket. Now leaving San Francisco for Sacramento, Reno, Salt Lake City, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, and Point D. Sleeping cars only. Last call. All passengers please board at track five.
say that the uh, track led all the way around the basement with two or three sets of rails, a turntable in the middle near the furnace, which was a model of a 110-foot turntable, which worked by electricity. I had help from uh, one or two of my sons at that particular time because I was no electrician. There was a double slip switch. I don't know, I think probably the picture will show you that. At this particular time, I believe I had just about three, may have been four engines. This was a professional movie taker. We had uh, a number of pictures taken by the movie people, some of which we never saw again.
an employee of Standard Oil. And every time that we had anything going on, we could call him and he'd come all the way over from Palo Alto or somewhere, or Burlingame. And he'd bring that dining car, and that was one of the most beautiful models you ever saw. It was polished brass. It had everything that you would expect to find in a dining car, uh, even to napkins on the table. Everything you might say but the food. It was a beautiful piece of work. And then he finally went north up into Washington somewhere, so we didn't see him, or we hadn't seen him. I haven't seen him for years. <coughs> Now there was a switch engine there, I don't know if you noticed it, with a fantail type tender, and that was stolen. We never heard of that anymore. The best part about it was that I had just rehashed it and put on a vapor valve gear and, and it had run and pulled like the mischief. Then somebody came in the window and took it. But I want to say this, it was attractive enough for all kinds of people to come and see it, to see it operate. Editors from magazines and so on that expected to find a live steamer was one that had all kinds of machinery and a bench with an engine on it. The idea of steam engines running trains around on a scenic railroad was something new entirely, and they wrote it up. So we got a tremendous lot of publicity. So all this 